Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another fall fishing episode. Cooking up some bacon and eggs before we get to fishing so we can have some energy throughout the day, but plan on fishing like two different lakes for brook trout, tiger trout, and rainbows. Hopefully they're biting today. Yesterday it actually snowed and today the sun is out. It's going to be warm, so it's a drastic change in temperature and hopefully that doesn't mess the fishing up, but we're going to be doing some fly fishing and if that doesn't work, I got my spinning rod as well but I'm gonna try to stick with the fly rod all day. We'll just have to see. These pieces are done. The ones in the middle cook way faster because the flame is just hitting the center of the pan. So the ones on the outer edge don't cook quite as fast. And look at all that grease. That is absurd. I'm just gonna pour some of this out. Nice and crispy. That is good bacon. That is not the cheap stuff. And I'm not gonna scramble the eggs. I wanna leave them intact. I'm going to try to leave them unscrambled. This pan isn't exactly non-stick anymore. You know, I tried not to scramble them, but... Whatever. And there we go. Bacon and eggs. I'm going to finish this up. And then we're going to get fishing. Here we are. All right. Oh, there's a fish right there. I just spooked. <laughs> Shoot. Walked up right on a brook trout. All right. So I got my fly rod and I got this white and green weighted woolly bugger. I'm just going to be stripping it and see if I can get anything to chase it. Are you kidding me? First cast, you guys. <laughs> First cast fish. How do you like that? Nice one. Nice. It is a good fish. Holy cow. Oh, get over here. Yes. Nice. That is a good brook trout. That is actually a pretty decent sized fish for this pond. Awesome. All right, well, I think I'm using the right lure or fly, I should say. First fish of the day on the first cast. Beautiful brookie. There he goes. Now usually you don't like to get a fish on the first cast because that kind of jinxes it for the rest of the day, but hopefully today's different. Got him, watched him take it. <laughs> Nice. Another brook. That was like just a couple casts after that first one. Oh, it's kind of muddy out there. Can't get too close. Come here. Come here. Got him. Nice. This one's a little smaller, but still quality fish. Just barely hooked in the corner of the mouth. There we go. Number two of the day. I'll just toss him back. I can't get too close because I'll sink like three feet in the mud. There we go. So I'm casting it out, letting it sink for about eight seconds. It sinks really, really slow, but I'm letting it sink about three feet and then just start. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. <laughs> this is insane. Another one. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Look at that. It's a big old male. Those males always have way better color on them. Get in here. Oh man, guys, check that out. 
That is gorgeous. Those are some of the most bright, vibrant colors I've ever seen. I mean, look at that guy. My gosh, just like how red and orange that belly is. Man. There he goes. All right, let's see if there's another one out there. There's probably like a big school or a big group of them just right here in these weeds. Let it sink. And I'm watching my line because some of those fish, they just take it before I even move it at all. So watch your line and then start the retrieve. Got him. Dude, I'm watching all these fish just come out and grab it. They just slam it, man. They are on one today. Get over here. Lift him up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Number four. Guys, we've been fishing for like 12 minutes. We've already got four. And that guy wanted it. He had it clear in his mouth. There we go. Number four. See it. <laughs> oh, oh. He's looking at it. Oh, and he turned. He turned. He came right out from the weeds, like right at my feet. Got him. <laughs> I saw him sitting in the shallows right here, tossed it at him. And he came over and just without hesitation. Oh, that's another pretty one. Oh, look at that. Oh, get over here. Hey. Yeah. I think I got more grass than fish on that one, but that's all good. Beautiful fish. I just love how fat and healthy and aggressive they are. Get out of here, buddy. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, come on, come on, turn around, turn around. There we go. Oh, <laughs> little guy. Little guy grabbed it. There's actually a bigger one that was sitting right there. And I was trying to get him, but nope, this guy had other plans. <sighs> yeah, not what I was after. Come on, man. You scared the big one away. Well, this is the smallest one so far. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. He ate it on the fall. Didn't even realize I had one. Just a little guy. I think that's number seven. It's pretty good for only being out here like an hour. All right, see you, buddy. There we go. Oh, good one. Good one. There we go. Oh, I can keep him in the net. There we go. He almost swallowed that. It's way down there, right in the roof of the mouth. Guys, he's hooked pretty bad, honestly. We might have to keep this guy, which is totally fine because I was planning on having a trout lunch out here anyway. So we're gonna keep him. We have lunch. So we have a fish to cook for lunch. That's awesome, but I'm not gonna cook quite yet. It's probably about 11 o'clock, so not quite lunchtime. So I'm just gonna keep fishing for a while, hopefully hook into some more fatty brook trout. There are some tiger trout in here too. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're pretty few and far between. I haven't seen one yet, but I know they're out there. So that'd be cool if we could get into one of those. Oh, one just swiped at it. Come on, he's still out there. He's still out there. Oh. There we go. Got him that time. That's a good one. These are all good ones. These have all been fat, healthy brookies. Nice, nice. Calm down, buddy. 
Oh, look at that. That guy has like a yellow birthmark or something underneath his jaw. Look at that. The bottom of his lip is just orange. I've never seen something like that. That's crazy. Man, he ate it good too. But I should be able to just pop it out. There we go. Another nice fish. I'm just gonna toss him back. There he goes. It really is the coolest feeling in the world when you're just stripping it in and you just see a big old trout come up and just swallow it. And the water is so clear, I can see like clear out to where I'm casting. So I'm basically just, I know exactly when to set the hook because I can see him. Oh, there's a fish by it. Oh, he denied it. All right, guys, well, I just caught this one off camera. I thought I was recording, but my GoPro is having problems. Nice little fish. It's number 10 on the day, so let's, so we're in double digits. Toss him back. He just came out from underneath all these logs right here. This big old beaver dam. There we go. I just saw my line go. I have to keep him out of these logs. Nice. Sweet. Number 11. I'm just gonna toss him out past all these logs. There he goes. This is basically like a maze. I doubt he'd ever get out if I just let him go right there. There we go. There we go. Sweet. He's just barely skin hooked. Oh, and there he goes. I've actually been debating whether or not to switch to a nymph and an indicator just because they're not hitting this woolly bugger like they were this morning. I'm still getting looks, but they're just not nearly as aggressive towards it. There we go. Ooh, good one. Yes. Oh man, that's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> that's the biggest one of the day. I think, yeah. Er, let's see. Ah, maybe not. It's one of the bigger ones though. One of the prettier ones. Look at that. Nice. And I think that guy looks like he's been caught before because his mouth is kind of ripped up on that side. There we go. <laughs> back to back, baby. That's a good one too. He actually came out of the water to eat it. There was a big boil. I just set the hook and thankfully he was there. <laughs> Number 13. Sweet. All right, guys. So I found a nice little spot nestled in the trees that we're gonna cook our fish. I got all my stuff laid out on this log right here. We're gonna be doing trout and rice today. My absolute favorite way to cook trout. And uh, yeah, anyway. Take our trout, set it right in there. I'll take our plate, put it on top, and let it cook. Guys, I am starving. What time is it? It is 3.58, so it's four o'clock, so that means we've been fishing for about six hours. So I've worked up quite an appetite. I'm gonna add a little butter to it. Mm, we'll give it a few more minutes. It's getting there though. It's crazy how fast it cooks. Four or five minutes and it's done.
there we go. Give it a little salt and pepper. Fresh brook trout and rice. The cows are very active today, as well as the elk. You guys probably can't hear it, but all day long, I've been hearing elk bugle off in the forest. All right, well that was a good lunch. Now let's get back to fishing. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, here we are. Lake number two. Look how beautiful it is. Are you kidding me? There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, look at that jump. <laughs> nice. What do we got here? I think it's a rainbow. There's no way a brook trout's fighting this hard. Uh, what is that? Yeah, it's a rainbow. Nice. I thought that was a lot bigger than he is. There we go. Rainbow, second species of the day. Heck yeah, I'll take it. There's brook trout in here as well, so I might catch some more of those guys, but I did want to try and catch some of these. Oh, and he just popped off the hook. Nice. There we go. Nice little rainbow. There we go. Oh, he popped off. Shoot. Well, the bites are kind of few and far between here. That was only the second bite I've got, and I already fished half the lake. So when I do get bit, I can't be letting them get off like that. There we go. Watched him take that. Nice. Rainbow number two of the day. I'll take it. There we go. Nice little bow. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There we go. Oh, that was a horrible hook set. <laughs> we got him. We got him. That's the smallest one. Nice. These are all pretty rainbows, too. They've got some good colors on them. Looks right there in the roof of the mouth. There we go. Nice fish. There we go. I watched him take that. He just comes out of nowhere. And just, it's so awesome when you can actually watch him eat. There we go. There we go. Ooh, oh, there he is. I thought it was a small one, but no. Now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. 
Oh my gosh. He's just pulling me all over the place. And the award for hardest fighting fish of the day goes to this guy. And, and got him. Got him. Hey, 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 calm down. All my fish today have been caught on little flies like this, little woolly buggers. I've lost a few of them, but it's the price you have to pay. There we go, got him. Ooh, look at that jump. Nice. Ooh, oh wow. These rainbows, I'd be willing to bet rainbows fight harder than any other trout. <laughs> pound for pound, I'd say they're one of the hardest fighting trout. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. <sighs> that is a good one. Biggest one of the day. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> that's a good one. Well, it's a decent one. Wow. Not even kidding, guys, for the past five minutes, there's been coyotes howling just right over there. Like a whole pack of coyotes. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is the biggest fish of the day. Not by a lot, but it's the biggest one. Hooked right underneath the mouth. I didn't even get him in the mouth. Got him right underneath. Probably a 14 inch or so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Caught a ton of fish today. Ton of brookies, ton of rainbows. I lost track of how many we caught, but that's how you know it's a good day. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the comments below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>